is Heather the Crochet Witch. Welcome to, it's going to be Vlogmas Day 23 when you're watching this, I believe. Um, so David and I are headed down to, what I'm always pointing, I guess, that way <laughs> in my yarn room, uh, to the previous Joanne's Superstore, I'm always calling it. Um, we are going to see, if, if you remember my videos when I thought that it was closing, just closing permanently for good, we're going to see the new setup because they moved a couple blocks over and I saw an article online that said they were up and running and the Joann's um, app has them as moved. So we're going to go see if it's a bigger building, a smaller building, um, what's going on. I imagine that bridge was not fun on my camera work so sorry about that <laughs> um but yeah should be a fun time hopefully hopefully it's not like a tiny storage closet of a joanne's like uh the one up north of us but we'll see and uh, if i have the opportunity i will bring you guys along with so uh, we'll see you when we get there all right love you guys Bye. hey guys it's heather the crochet witch how are you guys doing today so welcome to vlogist Vlogist day 23. <laughs> yes, I cheated again. <laughs> so today, um, which was the 22nd for me, <laughs> still Monday. Um, today, David and I went to Joann's, the new Joann's that was made, uh, where the old superstore in the same town, that the old superstore closed down in. And it, I was afraid it would be like a small one now. It's well exceeded my expectations. It is so big. I absolutely loved it. Um, it was like, I walked in and I just, I know I was like, <sighs> you know, like <laughs> we were, we were looking at like the Halloween stuff on the way back and, uh, David kept peeking around aisles and he's like, I found the yarn and he goes, you will approve. <laughs> and I did. If you, I'm, I don't know which video is going up first, but when you see the other video, yeah, I, I definitely approved. That's for sure. It was amazing. It was amazing. Um, so cool. <laughs> uh, I, I want to go back already. Uh, I need payday to get here so I can see what kind of money I've got left over. Um, this came in the mail today. Let me see. Eddie Munson Hellfire Tour. And it says upside down. March 86, Hawkins, Indiana. <laughs> Which was um it's not it's not official merch, but but I didn't feel so bad. Somebody it was a Facebook ad. But somebody in the, uh, like on the Facebook ad made a comment, like something about real fans don't, don't buy dupe merch. And, um, and while that's normally true, like if it's like, um, like for Fozzie and stuff, I don't ever buy dupe merch, but, but, um, partially, I, I guess maybe like, I don't feel like. In the long run, this takes away from, like, say, the actors' pockets, and maybe I feel less guilty because Netflix is more the corporation and I don't see the, the faces that it takes the money from, I guess, which I know is a really bad cop-out excuse, but also they don't make this shirt. You know what I mean? I'm not buying a dupe of something that they make. Otherwise, I would just buy the Netflix version. Um, I don't know. Like, it's cop out e but i really liked this so i know that it's not official netflix merch but i bought it and then i saw the comment and then i felt bad but <laughs> i really 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 like this shirt um it came much bigger than i expected it to um Like, I've, I realized, and I did this, like, the last time I lost weight, too, um, so I don't know why it's taking me by surprise again, 
but I, I've come to realize how different sizes and sizing are between t-shirt brands, between companies that make t-shirts or whatever. Like sometimes you buy a 1X and it's perfectly fine and you're like, oh, cool, I fit into a, a 1X now or whatever. And then sometimes you're like, I could fit into a large in this, you know, in this brand or whatever. And um, I have a shirt that's like a medium that I can wear. And then, then I, like in another shirt, I bought like a 2X thinking like, oh, I'd really like a comfy version of this shirt because I'll probably sleep in it. And I got it and I was like, oh, this is like nowhere near as big as I thought it would be. Like, what's going on? <laughs> so I bought this one thinking it would be kind of big like cozy big I guess because and I also I like to wear my shirts big but um the, it's it's real big like it's it's real <laughs> big uh but it's okay and and I literally got it on my doorstep today so I don't know when I wash it it might it might sh you know shrink up or whatever plus it's black so it's not like you're not gonna tell as much as if it was a different color. Another great reason to wear black. But um, it's really big and it's really comfy and I really like it <laughs> a lot. Um, and I'm just gonna try to pretend that it's not uh, like dupe merch. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's not dupe merch. I, don't, I shouldn't even call it that because like I said, Netflix does not put out this shirt, at least not that I've ever seen. But it's not, I'm going to pretend that it's not um, someone else benefiting from the Netflix stuff. Because I didn't think about that. <laughs> but I'm still going to wear it because I bought it and I like it. Sorry. Um, but guilt-free. I like it. <laughs> um, yeah. I thought it was weird though. I should have noticed like noticed there was something up when I was buying it because it was in my car and I went to buy it and there was like a it was like 97 cent charge that you you could unclick it but I didn't um because the charge was for I forget the the term they used but it was basically like shipper's assurance and the assurance was that if they ship it and it doesn't come to you or it gets lost or damaged in the mail, that then you can file a claim with them and get it replaced. If you don't buy the assurance, you can't and there's nothing you can do about it. And they're just going to be like, well, you should have bought the 97 cents assurance. Now it costs you a $20 t-shirt. <laughs> so I, I was just like, yeah, I'll, I'll pay the 97 cents because I'm a sucker and, <laughs> and I like it. But I should have known then that something was up. But what I was thinking was, Eddie Munson, Hellfire Tour. I love that. <laughs> Looks just like the Metallica ad. <laughs> Which, by the way, I think, I don't remember if I mentioned it to you guys. Um, I actually know one of you guys said you went to the Metallica concert and they were selling Hellfire merch or like Stranger Things merch with their stuff but yeah Metallica put out a whole line I guess of um Hellfire Club Metallica merch because of the the Eddie Metallica crossover which I thought was pretty cool um yeah so now someone else did too I guess <laughs> with shipping assurance <laughs> I'm such a sucker Anyway, lesson learned, but I mean, lesson learned, it's a, it's a cool shirt unless it like falls apart in the washer or something. It's pretty cool. Um, plus, I mean, it's not like I haven't bought stuff off Wish before and like that's pretty much all Wish was, was like dupe stuff. So I, I'll just stop pretending I never did that. Um, but yeah, so I was pretty excited that that came today. And I haven't done a whole lot else. Um, I 
worked on my movie marquee blanket. Uh, on the way down to Joanne's, I worked on my D20 on the triangles for that. Um, last night, our air conditioner, our big air conditioner that uh, air conditions most of the downstairs, uh, broke. <laughs> uh, David actually went, he, he went to go uh, look at it outside because he thought it was just... Um, not leaned right that it had like unleaned itself somehow and he, ended, he said he ended up with a face full of like freon just like pff, so bad so bad um like i don't know if he meant a spray of it or a, or like a cloud of gas because i'm not really sure how freon works like if it's a gas or a liquid but he i just know he was coming in and like washing his face so i'm guessing it was a, like a spray of liquid but so that exploded. So we ended up uh, getting a new air conditioner tonight because um, like, even if we decided like, oh, it's almost the end of summer, um, because of Abby's condition, she doesn't regulate her body temperature um, properly. So she needs to be in a, in a cool environment because um, if she gets too hot, that can also set off um, like breakthrough seizures with her medication. Um, we made the mistake and we found that out because she's always her whole life liked to like sunbathe uh, outside because we have like some stone pavers out in the back um, that, that have they've kind of got like some grass growing up around them now uh, but she knows obviously she knows where they're at um, we all do so she, she'll go and uh, when she goes out in the backyard she'll lay on them and uh, she did that again this year and like right after that is when she had gotten sick again and had her seizures uh, start to break through and that's actually one of the things the vet said that we learned then was um, that she can't regulate her body heat well um, so we have to kind of help her do that by not letting her sunbathe and even if she likes it which she's gonna like doing even more the older she gets because like I've like Winston always liked to lay in warm spots. So did Lindy, you know, because I mean, I'm sure that feels really good on their joints. And so I'm sure the older she gets, the more she's going to want to, but can't do it, little dog. So, um, we had to get the air conditioner for sure, because like, who knows if it's going to be like a 90 degree day, you know, Abby's going to need it. I mean, plus we want it, but Abby needs it. So there's no, no question with that. So and then, oh, while we were at the store, since, oh, sorry for the squeak. Um, while we were at the store, we got that, and David got me this blanket, which I know normally I just, you know, make my own blanket, but <laughs> isn't it cute? I actually got the, um, the fall one with the puppies in like leaf piles and with a pumpkin and stuff like that that said like hello pumpkin and things so this is the halloween version of it and it's so soft i can't wait to open it but i wanted to show you guys first i really love it that was like the other like purchase that we made today <laughs> um but oh, squeaky chair Need to get a different chair, I think, because I tried oiling this sucker. <laughs> no avail. Um, it's what I get for buying the old desk chairs that I like, because at the bottom they have like a... We found out with taking it apart, they have like this rubbery ring. And I think the rubbery ring disintegrates at, over time and everything, and I'm sure it doesn't help when heavier people are in it. <laughs> and so I'm sure that's part of the problem. But usually I don't like move around too much when I'm filming so you guys don't have to hear too, too much of squeakers going on. But today apparently is an active day. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so I got that. And uh, we set up the air conditioner. And I've been talking to uh, my friend Andy because like I said uh, yesterday, Friday is the concert that's like, what did I say, like 30 or 45 minutes away from me, something like that. Um, so he's really excited. I'm really excited. Uh, 
And at one point, uh, I was going to try to go to his show Wednesday in Chicago, but just money and um, the fact that I also needed to put some hours in at work, uh, I didn't because I didn't take like a vacation this week or anything. Um, I did not get the day off, so I couldn't go. But it turns out that's okay because uh, the concert that they were going to put on got canceled for some reason. He just told me that. So he's like, yeah, my next show isn't actually going to be until Friday. So his next show is going to be the one I see him at. So I told him that was a bummer. I should have gotten it off. and Maybe we could have hung out, but uh, it is what it is. And we were talking about he wants me to uh, make him a blanket, and I told him I would. So And once I told him I would, he was like, oh, no, it's, it's going to end up being too much work, isn't it? And so I was like, no. <laughs> do you know me but um if he'd if he'd picked a color that I'd already had made he could have just had one but uh he wants a purple and black one so I'm gonna find some awesome he's an awesome person and uh I'm gonna even if I have to buy it I'm gonna find some really cool like purple and black yarn for him uh I'd like to get something like I don't know soft and squishy but, but something that's not too maintenance-y also uh like for him just because, you know, he's a guy, and, like, he's a guy guy, and he's not going to sit around and, like, hand wash things, and <laughs> so I, I'm going to have to find something that'll launder well, but I don't really want to use, like, Red Heart, so I have to see, like, what would you guys use? What would you use? You probably shouldn't be, because I don't... I don't know if he has any um, allergies, and he may not know if he has any fiber allergies either because he doesn't have anybody in his life that, like, knits, crochets, or does anything like that. So, like, I don't... And I don't think he... He's in Las Vegas, so I don't think he, like, wears sweaters or anything heavy enough to, like, outside to know if he's got fiber allergies. <laughs> um, so I figured we'll stick with something acrylic. We'll stick with something launderable. Um, I don't care what weight it is, like, as far as if it's a thin weight, because I don't, I can work pretty quick with that. It doesn't matter when I get it done. His, his birthday is in September, but, um, I'll have to either ship it to him or wait until I see him again, because there's no way I'm going to have it done by Friday anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, what would you guys use? I don't know. I have to think about that. Purple and black. <laughs> like I'd like to use Scarfy, but that has some wool in it. I guess I could ask him if he knows if he's got any allergies, but I I really don't think he knows. So I think acrylic's probably the safest. Cuz I don't want to use cotton. Plus you never really know if cotton bleeds, right? Like, I mean, I could wash it a few times, but no. Mm. Mm. Decisions. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, what would you guys use? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I have, I don't think I have a whole lot more to say today, you guys. So the next few days I'm going to be at work and then the concert Friday and then my birthday on Saturday. And um, I know during the day for my birthday, like Damon had requested off and then our boss was like saying she really wanted him to work that night. And I was like, it's fine, I don't care. Which, you know, I do that thing where I'm like, I don't care, but I, I like kind of did care because I was hoping we could like watch a movie or something because I know David has to work. But it's cool I'll hang out with myself <laughs> the rest of the night I guess uh so at the beginning of the day we're gonna there's a big Pokemon event which happens to fall on my birthday and then I think for that day I'm going to forego the calories and get my favorite pizza which is in a nearby town 
and maybe we can at least have like dinner together and then he'll end up going to work and I don't know what I'll do by myself probably just crochet and watch some movies or something I don't know stranger things <laughs> I always watch happy death day uh because you know it's my birthday movie <laughs> um but I don't know I don't know what else to do I guess we'll see I had a thought too on when I said I might do like a video showing off the stuff um, that I can sell. Uh, I have, I had started a Facebook business page bef long, like before I even started my, uh, my channel and I kind of like abandoned it. I think I might just put the things that I have for sale up there and then link it for you guys. What do you think about that? I don't know. You think that'd be a good idea? Because it's not really a business page. It's just like a... I guess it's a business page. I don't know what it is. Because I'm so not, not with the Facebook pages. Besides like my group page. It's... It doesn't list... Like I'd have to list the prices in the description box. Of just the pictures. Because it's not like a for sale site. I don't know. I just throwing an idea out there. Maybe I'll do that because I do want to get some of this stuff up but I do already know that I'm going to be like oh I don't want to enter all the stuff into Etsy with the shipping and the uh. I know I'm going to be a baby about it and procrastinate because that's what's kept me from doing it for so long now at this moment I'm just trying to find the best way whether it's making a video or now with this Facebook idea but I thought I'd ask you guys what your opinion is of it um but yeah, because that way then I could just message with you guys about it and then I can, I don't know, just go figure out shipping or something. And it seems easier. <laughs> Sometimes stuff is not easier than I think is though. <laughs> I don't know. So indecisive. Um, yeah, just tell me what you guys think. <laughs> You're very good at steering me the right way. Um, now I think I'm done. <laughs> so I shall go. I have this video to edit. I have the Joanne's video to edit and get them both up. And so I will say goodnight and I will talk to you guys later. Right. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.